we are here with Archbishop Tim Costello, a Salesian of Don Bosco. Tim is the Archbishop of Perth in Western Australia and the President of the Australian Bishops Conference. Tim, we are so happy to have you here in this beautiful church of the Sacred Heart. This church was willed and commissioned by Don Bosco in 1887 and consecrated in 1893 mm -hmm. by Monsignor Caliero and Don Rua himself. Oh, okay. And so it is so, uh, we are so proud to have you here. One very simple question. Like Perth, like Sydney, modern day cities, London also, many of our youngsters, you have got a heart of a young person do not believe in God, mm. do not believe in religion, do not do want to do anything with the church, basically. How can we attract these young people today in being church? Thank you, Father Anthony. Look, it's a, it's a very big question in one sense. In another sense, maybe the answer is quite simple. Uh, easy to say, but far more attracted by uh, actions than by words. And young people are very sensitive to, don't really want to use the word hypocrisy, but sensitive to the gap between what people say and what they do. So I think the best thing that we can do is to continue as individuals and as parish communities, as religious communities, to strive always to be more authentic. I think that's the first thing that I'd say. Uh, so. The, the, the present challenge for the church, whether it's here in the UK or home in Australia or anywhere really, is that we're, and this is Pope Francis too, we're trying to find how better to be deeply faithful. Having said that, I think Don Bosco has the answer as well. You know, the famous letter from Rome where Don Bosco uh, expresses the phrase, or really the people in the dream say it to him, but it becomes his phrase, it's not enough to love young people they have to know that they are loved. That's the Salesian way of talking about what Pope Francis would call accompaniment. So I think the really important thing for us as Salesians in particular, and therefore for a Salesian parish like this, is to reflect deeply on that saying, which I believe captures the heart of Salesian spirituality. It's not enough to love. The people that you love have to know that you love them. So that means it has to be real and concrete and adapted to each individual person that you meet. That's a very challenging thing, but I think that's the answer. If young people know that they are loved and accepted and valued and forgiven and understood and accepted, all of those find things. their home in the church. I think for many young people at the moment, the church feels like an alien place because they don't feel like they belong. They do belong, they're part of the church, and I think the Salesians, not, it's not unique to us, but the Salesians have a special gift in cultivating this sense of acceptance uh, and belonging, hospitality, those sorts of things. So that, that would be uh, my answer. It's, it's not going to change things overnight, but I think it's the long-term uh, program for the church. So. I ask you in prayer to give a blessing especially to the young people of our parish mm. and then to the young people, to all who will see the small clip. And all of you, just before I give you the blessing, that even through this medium uh, of a video, um, the promise of Jesus still holds good. Wherever two or three gather together in my name, I'm there with them. So wherever you are at the moment watching this and listening to this, we're all gathered together uh, and Jesus is therefore with us. So with that in mind, with that sense of him present with us, I would just ask you to open your minds and your hearts and your lives to him, to see him as the way to follow, the truth to commit yourself to, the life that he wants you to live. Commit yourself to him and allow him to fill your lives. So I ask the Lord to bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.